she gets too hungry for dinner at eight. She likes the theater, but never comes late. She never bothers with people she hates. That's why the lady is a tramp. So swinging is a project that I'd, I'd always wanted to do. It had been a long, long time since I'd actually sung with an orchestra. So um, when we decided to get this project together, um, the best thing was to do was to do a tribute. So a celebration of swing music of the era was the, the original idea. Is a tramp. Like a bunch of songs from the big band era that um, like Benny Goodman and Tommy Dorsey and Glenn Miller were obviously um, the, the initial choices, of course. So, so lots of them are, are still in the show. Um, I thought the best way to do, obviously, a swing concert would, um, would to get, was to get an ensemble with me that could actually um, really pull together the whole project. And of course, that's, that's when I found Alex Otegi. Alex was um, a decision right from the very, very beginning. Um, when this uh, project was actually thought up. Um, yeah, because I'd known him for you know, several years and I'd seen him work and I'd heard him at concerts and you know, his quintet is great, it's wonderful stuff. Um, and really I just, you know, it was like the right choice. I just wouldn't think of doing this job with anybody else. You know, I mean, I knew that he would you know, come on board 100% um, you know, literally take over and, you know, direct the, the band, the ensemble. A collection of songs and compositions, obviously, because there are, there are a few um, instrumental numbers in the show which, um, which the ensemble slay, I and mean, it's, it's f absolutely fabulous. Um, and it was literally just to, you know, represent the music of, of that year. There's, the, um, there's even an early uh, Sinatra medley of his first um, the first singles that he used to used to record with um, Harry James and Tommy Dorsey back in the beginning of his career. So basically, um, all the tracks that, that we decided um, would build up from uh, the earlier songs to the later ones to the big final theme, um, where you know it just goes absolutely crazy and it's so much fun. You know, I mean, one of the really really good things about this this show is that. Everybody has so much fun doing it. You know, we have such a great time when we get together. It's really, really wonderful. It's great. Uh, you know, just to be able to sing those songs. Um, it's so wonderful. It's so melodic. It's such a great, great composition era. The, the material that came out was absolutely stunning. Um, the big band uh, dance bands that were, you know, were being contracted all over the states. Um, they just, you know, invented and recreated more and more and more, and just the most wonderful stuff came out, and and it's still around today. It's so wonderful to do to do this show, just artistically, you know, with the feel of the whole the band with me and everything, and but it's just basically the material I think that is absolutely wonderful. And once we we eventually did honed down from, from about, I think there's about 40 songs uh, at the very, very beginning. Um, and we honed it down to what we've got. Um, it was great, it was, uh, it's fabulous. So the show really is um, a fun thing to see. It really, really is, yeah. What, what is swinging for me? Um, yeah, I think it's just thrilling. It really is lovely. It's great, it really is. So yeah, one word, a thrill. Working with John is like a travel in time. It's a whole experience. When I was a kid, I was raised to watch musicals and uh, great singers and tappers. And, well, my mother was a dancer too, so I feel deeply connected to the nature of the project. It's like working with a living legend who reminds you to Fred Astaire, Gene Kelly, you know, the greatest of all time, but with his own charisma 
and his own voice. I mean, his integrity, what he actually represents as an international artist with so much background at his feet. You know, it's, it's not only a gift for the audience. Wow, I love to look for rare compositions. That kind of songs which sound familiar, but at the same time, you cannot say the title um, because you haven't heard it before. And that's actually the main catchphrase that our show was built on. Something like, cozy familiar sound and brand new menu. Yeah, the environment is absolutely great. I chose each and every one of the musicians that I had a special connection with. And that's because of the powerful energy that all of them bring to the show. And, well, the feeling we get every now and then when we are playing together.